Then that one. Yeah. Let me check the time because... Okay, I thought I gave one. Alright, we're gonna start now. To be exact. Yeah. Alright, and we have a ditto. Is that our first wrong? And they both are already on fire. Hey, DJ Hunter, thank you for joining the stream. Oh my gosh, and so uh, for those who don't know, the prize for this tournament is Championship Zetterburn, so... Um, unless the winner doesn't have... Unless the winner already has Champion Zetter, then we are going to have to find him another prize. Which is going to be in the form of, Edelis, please give us more skins, please. <laughs> if not, then it'll be like, alright, well, we'll just spend money and buy you skin. Or, I don't know, maybe just money in general. But... They got the pink and purple skins going on right now, I like it. Yeah, they're nice and like... Where can I learn how to play? Because I suck. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun, <laughs> but I'm really bad at it. Hey, DJ Hunter, we suck even more because, like, you know, we're legit amateur level. We, uh, <laughs> we legit just don't play the game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so... Oh my gosh, I've lost my train of thought completely. I was going to talk about this match in Zetterburn in general, but all I know is that now I'm completely lost in conversations about uh, game right, he and wa stuff. He waved dash, he approached with back air. Oh no! I will say, Ma what I really like about uh, Rivals is that every character has like something unique about them without it feeling like a really like obnoxious gimmick like Smash 4 ones do. Yeah, or like some people often will bring up Project M saying stuff like, like, okay, I know everyone loves the move because Memphis means, but like a lot of people will say like Solar Beam or whatever, like in right. oh, Project M, it'll be like the distinguishing feature of a lot of characters is gimmicky. I would argue that honestly part of that's like bias though, because I feel like if, if Melee Fox never wasn't like, a, if Melee Fox wasn't like a top tier Melee or whatever, and then suddenly they made Shine in Project M, people would have said that was gimmicky, you know? Oh no, it would be, it would be insanely gimmicky. I consider Shine a gimmick if it wasn't for, like it was an accident. But no one considers that a gimmick because of the fact that it was in base Melee, and base me and everyone loves base, base Melee. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like, there's, I think there's a little bit of nostalgia blindness and like, to talk Melee because it's a great game. I'm just saying, like, about perspectives and stuff. But this honestly is looking a lot more even than the last set we saw. Um, yeah. Uh, gosh. Ivy Evo is kind of running away with it right now. I Just mean, know where I am. Hey, are, you're not an entire game ahead of me, are you? Uh, I'm. No, I'm not. I'm not a game ahead of you. Oh wait, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Say, I'm got, so confused. I got three. three I got is... three. I got three XD and Ivy Evo mixed up. Cause 3XZ has two. 3XZ had two stocks, and Ivy Evil had one. <laughs> I I got my two mixed up. My bad. Yeah, what the heck? I was, ah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, that's right. I was like, why? This doesn't make sense. The bracket is too. I was like, that's right. This bracket, uh, there's a mistake. Reporting is supposed. To... Was this one supposed to be two one? Yeah. Okay. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and start the next one. I feel you, DJ Hunter. I feel like a lot of people feel that way. Uh, just whichever is, yeah, that one. I need to, I need to freaking get pop that chat. I wouldn't. I don't know. Ganondorf is a character. I don't think he's like a gimmick. Kind of a gimmick makes him kind of weak. And I feel like also the fact that he doesn't really have. He has like a strength in that he's very powerful, but his strength doesn't compensate for his weaknesses. Yo, I'd be evil taking an early lead. Actually, he started off hella strong this for this second game. Like Dude, he starts off really strong. Yeah, I think the 3XD started off a lot better to the first game, and then Ivy Evil, like he was kind of bringing it back. So I think once again, like going back to the momentum thing, I think Ivy Evil was picking up momentum, and I think it's kind of carrying over to the second game. I think that's really good on Ivy Evil though, because like a lot of people, even if you're getting momentum towards the end of a game, a lot of people just because they lose, they won't keep the momentum. That's yeah. also, you'll see, like, people character swap after losing a game, even if they had momentum to keep it close at the end. It's like a lack of confidence. So I feel I, a lot of respect to IB Evil here, sticking with a character, and, like, honestly, coming out the gate really strong, about to, like, go up two stocks ahead. He might act, yeah, he might just take, no, never mind, it's even the stocks now. Oh, just a little bit too soon. Yeah. Though, uh, not for too long. I mean, it's gotta be pretty, yeah, that's it. It's gotta be a, a challenge, like playing Zetter into a 
pay attention to both fire pools with both characters. Oh, I'm gosh. calling it fire pool. Like I'm sure there's a better name. And then especially now that there's um new guy Sylvanas coming out. Man, that's gonna be a bitch. Oh, part of my language. Is two two is, Sylvanas. Is that how his name supposed to be pronounced? I'm I couldn't figure out. Sylvanas. Exactly. Sylvanas. I don't know. All I know is forest, that forest, forest dog. Like so game. forest dog. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pretty even now, actually. He's gonna make it really rough to tell where whose growth is where. Yeah. The XD's closing the gap pretty well. Uh, the tournament has already started and we're already almost done. I'm sorry. So, uh, hey, this is better than last time. Last time we didn't say anything. Uh, yeah. DJ Hunter, so work is that um generally what happens is that because rivals doesn't have a spectate mode the tournament is played mostly in advance and stream starts a little bit later so you usually got to sign up in advance we if you follow the reddit at all for this event uh the rivals for reddit we post about this event every month but here's a bracket if you want to take a look at it all right i'd be able to game two I kind of figured that with the uh, scoring. Wait, oh, wait, I feel like. Three. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say spoilers. We know it. We know. Spoilers. We know. We know the results before they happen. <laughs> uh, I be evil. Just. Uh, oh, I was about to spoil something from the Discord chat, but. Uh, uh, we can't say that on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoopsie. Game 3 My is a bad. lot more even between them at the start. Like, no one's taking like, a really strong lead yet. Never mind! I spoke way too soon and then I'd be able to kill him at 60. Dude, it's just every time you say stuff like that, it's I, called. This is why I don't commentate. Curse. Commentator's curse. I literally don't commentate for this reason. The RTC disconnected me. Don't worry, what? I'm not gonna bother it as long as you can still hear me. I can still hear you, yeah. And I don't know what Discord's talking about, but yeah, back to the. But how does Zetterburn not burn down the entire tree just walking around? <laughs> as soon as he steps on the leaf, the platform goes away. He got st even stocks again. Yep. I, I wonder what's really carrying this momentum into Game Three too. Yeah. Like a little like even just start. But yeah, he's already got a stock. He's already a stock up on my end. I mean, Evil was talking a lot, like, making jokes about, uh, going O2 today. He was saying, like, oh, man, I can't wait to wait two hours of go O2. Just, just to go O2. And instead, like, you know, he's been playing hella on fire today. He's looking like, good. He's been playing super on fire. And, like, he didn't have to wait two hours for it. He waited, like, 30 minutes of DQs instead. Yeah. So that's what it is. I be Evil is only as good as he has to wait for Bracket. You're right. He still can't beat so me in Smash 4, though. Yeah, but that's just because has if he had to wait literally zero seconds for a bracket to start, he'd be unstoppable. Ah, uh, you're right. Well, he just walked into a venue. Be well, it's more like TOs, but it's just yeah. like if he just walked into a venue and the TOs like, "Hey, do you play your match?" He'd win. It could be against like anyone. It could be against Antoma and Roa, or like in Smash Four. <laughs> Or Iori in Melee. Yeah. I think he was about to die any second now. He's at 190. Never mind. He died. Dude, every time. I swear to you. Every time you say it. Every don't time die. I say it, he dies. Yeah, it's literally you. That was clean, actually. We, we, we were really happy with the turnout. I mean, it's a little bit more inflated than it looks because it's actually just the uh, eyeing people, but still pretty happy about it. All right, so next is Age and Sandy Man. I don't know what happened this set, but uh, in the Discord chat when it ended, Age and Sandy Man. So his tag is actually Sandal. Oh, okay. GD. So no, if you don't want spoilers, don't click on the smash on the bracket. But both of them were saying that they were shaking and stuff. So apparently, it was a very hype set. Ooh, I want to see. I don't actually know who won, so this is new for me. But. I mean, yeah. I have Rando. Hmm. 
Hypno versus Orca. I, I do not. This I, not I've barely seen any of Orca gameplay in this game. Much less I was gonna, Orca. Good joke. So this is the fourth ORR we've had. Well, technically third because we had to cancel ORR2. Yeah. 